Okay, so in this lesson I wanted to do a little bit of procedural modeling. I was thinking maybe of building a little tiki hut and see how that goes. So I'm going to start off with creating a um, geometry node and then we can kind of start looking at what we want to do. I don't need to bring in any files. Uh, maybe I'll start off with kind of deciding what the um, corners of like the supports are going to be. So I'm gonna um, let's see what are the geometry options that we have. Uh, a tube. Let's re re create a tube. Uh, so I'm going to switch this over into a polygon model. I am going to adjust the height so that we have something a little bit taller in our scene. And then I'm going to do what I want is, nah, let's do there and bring this up to like uh, 20 or 30 is fine cool and then let's bring the radius down here so let's actually bring the radius down on both of them so we have something kind of thin like that and then I'm gonna add a transform node to move the geometry. And maybe, let's see, 4 is fine. And let's bring this to 2. There we go. So, I like this, and I'm going to make it kind of rectangular. So I'm going to create another transform node. So I kind of want the same thing on the transform node um, from both of these. Let's go in and add a merge node right now. So that way we can see how they are both being connected in. So I kind of want this, but I want it to be up there. So what I'm going to try to do is copy the attributes from here. So I'm going to copy parameters from that node and paste the relative references here. So that's going to make it um, the same thing from one to the other, but in this case I actually also want to have it the opposite in the x direction. So um, in this transform node I'm just going to take all of that and multiply it by negative one. So I have all the information on there. So if I change the, um, not the rotation, but if I change the translation here, it's going to be the same. It's just going to be basically mirrored. So that works well for us. Um, and here, if we wanted to adjust the height, you'll see that we can adjust the height over here. Um, maybe for the height over here, we have um, basically eight. So if we clear that there, and we look at the height here, we put it at four, that's what basically um, makes the same height there for us. So what I'm going to take is this node and copy the parameters and over here I am going to 
um, paste the relative reference. Although what I want to do with this one is divide it by two. So that will make sure that when we go over here and adjust the height, if we wanted to adjust it later on, it will always keep it on the correct place for us. Great. So I basically want to do a very similar thing, but um, have it also go in that direction. So we're going to need a few more of these cylinders. Um, just to make it easy, I'm going to push the Z of this transform over here. So it's going to be at 1. And essentially, the ones that we go to over to this side, we want to be copies of these, but we need them to be um, negative in the other direction. So that works out. Um, I'm going to do a copy paste for this here and when I copy and paste I have all the um, code that we created there as well. Um, the only thing I want to do is modify the multiplication there. So that works out. And then I am going to let's copy and paste this one again. Um, the only thing is that on the x, I don't want to multiply it by negative 1 here, but on the z, I do. So I can uh, multiply by negative 1. And just connect that into the merge node. So we kind of have the um, poles there cr created where we need them. And that is a good start. So now uh, let's look at setting up maybe a box to be able to um, adjust and put onto the front and the sides and I want to try to make this as procedural as possible so when we adjust one thing it kind of um, adjusts everything else to go with it. So box we can merge that in there so that we can see what's going on and Gonna add a transform node here. And on this transform node, I know that I wanna take from this one. So this is going to be, let me move it over to the side over here so it's, it'll be easier to access for what I'm doing over here. And maybe I'll get this kind of um, that's where I'm kind of starting all the measurements from. So with this box right here we can see that it's the size it's one unit by one unit by one unit. Um, if we look here on the X on this object here, we moved it two units. So essentially, if we want to stretch it on both sides, it wants to. It needs to be four. So what I'm going to do is take this and copy the parameter and paste it into the scale x as a relative reference. Oops, but on the scale, not the um, translate
Uh, then we can multiply this by 2. And that did not work. Let's look at this here really quick and I'm going to take this parameter, copy that parameter and let's take it into the size and work it from here, see if that works. So I'm going to um, paste copied relative reference here. There we go, that looks a little bit better. And then I'm going to um, multiply that by 2 and that gives us the correct um, length that we want to be able to create the front and I'm going to create another box and on this box um, I'm going to make it the width here so um, again, looking at this column here that's m moved over one unit, we just need to multiply that by two to create the width there. So I'm going to go here and actually on the master column, copy that parameter and paste it in the Z here. So I'm going to paste copied parameter and that's probably why it didn't work on the other one because I had the one at the beginning and then I'm going to multiply that by 2. So that gives me the width. I'm just going to add um, here figure out a kind of width of the walls that I want. So that looks good, maybe 0.1. And for right now, I'll copy that into this channel as well. Um, later on, I'll build a control to be able to manipulate those. Um, so now I want a transform node. And with this transform node, I'm going to take the information from here because I want to be able to push it over to the side. And I want to be able to push it up. So I'm going to take um, this and I know that it's moved in the x direction two units. So let's copy this parameter and I am going to paste that here as a relative reference. Oops, that is the wrong geometry so I'm going to actually just go in here and put this at zero and delete channels that's going to take the expression out. Um, I want to do that on this box. So on this box is what I'm going to uh, paste the copied relative reference and that's going to put it in the right spot. And then I'm going to create another transform. Actually let's just copy this one. So I have a second one now and I'm going to multiply this by negative one and that puts it to the other side and I'm just going to merge it in. And then on both of these I want to move it up half the height. So I'm going to take the size here and copy that reference, uh, copy that parameter and in the transform I'm going to translate it here so I'm going to paste the relative reference and I'm going to multiply that by negative or not multiply but um, divide by 2. So that puts it there on the 4 right where I want it.
which is nice. And I'm going to copy this expression here and just paste it in the other one, and that should fix that too. So as I change the height here, it will all match up. So that's good. Actually, now looking at this here, no, it has to be that way. Okay. Unless we did it in the transform, which we could have done, but that's okay. We'll leave it like that for now. Um, and then with this one, we want to move uh, in the Z direction. So let's take this attribute and copy the parameter and go into here and let's paste relative reference and again making sure that we delete the first number here that's great and then we're gonna copy this parameter and let's paste it in here so let's paste that reference and then oops, let's the second channels there we go oops that's not what I wanted. There we go. Um, I just need to take this and divide it by two. There we go. So we can adjust the height. And as we adjust the height of that, so maybe for the height on these, for now I'm going to set it up at two. So that's going to kind of create the little boundary boxes for the bottom of the bar and um, give us kind of a starting point to work with. So I'm going to cut the lesson here and look forward for another video so that we can look at more um, procedural modeling so that we can build out this little tiki hut. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, share, subscribe, and um, yeah, we will have more lessons on this Tiki Hut coming up very soon.